Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about how to find the vertical asymptote of a rational function. Now, what is the rule in finding the vertical asymptote? To find vertical asymptote, we just simply equate the denominator to zero. It is the value of x that will make the function undefined or meaningless. So let's take the first example. On number one, we have f of x equals 1 over x minus 4. How do we find the vertical asymptote of this function? So the rule is we simply equate x minus 4 into 0. So that is x minus 4 equals 0. So we move negative 4 to the side of 0. So x is 4. So our vertical asymptote is 4. What about a number 2? We have f of x equals 5 over x squared minus 16. So to find vertical asymptote, let us equate x squared minus 16 equal to 0. So x squared minus 16 equals to 0. So to find the value of x, we just simply factor x squared minus 16. What are the factor of x squared? That is x and x. What about the two numbers? If you multiply, you can get negative 16. If you add, you can get 0. So that is negative 4 and 4. Negative 4 times 4 is negative 16. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Therefore, x minus 4 and x plus 4. So let us equate x minus 4 and x plus 4 to 0. x minus 4 equals 0 and x plus 4 equals 0. Then, x equals positive 4, and x equals negative 4. So our vertical asymptote is x is 4 and negative 4. On number 3, we have f of x equals 3x minus 6 all over x squared minus 7x plus 10. So to find the vertical asymptote, we are going to equate the denominator to 0. So that is x squared minus 7x plus 10 equals 0. So this is an example of trinomial. That means to find the value of x, we just simply factor x squared minus 7x plus 10. So that is the factor of x squared is x and x. The factor of positive 10 if you multiply, you can get 10. If you add, you can get negative 7. So that is x minus 5 and x minus 2. Negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. Negative 5 plus negative 2 is negative 7. Now, before we are going to find the value of x, let us substitute x squared minus 7x plus 10 into x minus 5 times x minus 2. Let us write 3x minus 6 over x minus 5 times x minus 2. Now, what did you notice on our numerator? Since our numerator is factorable, let us find the factor of our numerator. So the greatest common factor of 3 and 6 is 3. So we have 3 times 3x divided by 3 is x. Negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. Over, let us write x minus 5, x minus 2. And then, we're going to cancel x minus 2. Therefore, 3 over x minus 5. So to find our vertical asymptote, let us equate the denominator into 0. x minus 5 equals 0. Our x is 5. Therefore, our vertical asymptote is 5. On my last example, we have f of x equals 10x squared minus 5x minus 15 all over 6x squared minus 17x plus 12. Now, let us find the vertical asymptote of this function. So to find vertical asymptote, let us simplify first the numerator because numerator is factorable. So the greatest common factor on the numerator is 5. 
So let's have 5 times 10x squared divided by 5 is 2x squared. Negative 5x divided by 5 is negative x or negative 1x. Negative 15 divided by 5 is negative 3. And then let us write 6x squared minus 17x plus 12. And then, let us factor 2x squared minus x minus 3. So, let us write on this side, 2x squared minus x minus 3. We have 2 multiplied by 3, that is 6. What are the two numbers? If you multiply 2, negative, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. If you multiply, you can get negative 6. If you add, you can get negative 1. So, that is negative 3 and positive 2. So let us change negative x into negative 3 and 2. So the rule is whenever it comes first, whenever you write negative 3 or 2 on the first or last, it doesn't matter. But what is important is you are going to place this number wherein you can factor to the first term and to the last term. So that is 2x squared. So I'm going to write 2 first. Because I can factor 2 and 3. So therefore, I'm going to write first that is positive 2. X minus negative 3. Then I'm going to write X minus 3. And then I'm going to factor by group. So the greatest common factor of 2X squared plus 2X is 2X. 2X squared divided by 2X is X. 2X divided by 2X is is 1 minus the greatest common factor is 3. 3 negative 3x three squared divided by negative 3 is x. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1. Now, if this is your factor, you are on the right track. Now, let us factor. We have x plus 3, x plus 1 multiplied by 2x minus 3. So the factor of 2x squared minus x minus 3 is x plus 1 and 2x minus 3. So let's set a right on the numerator. 5 times x plus 1 and 2x minus 3. What about the denominator? So let us factor 6x squared minus 17x plus 12. So let's multiply 6 times 12, that is 72. What are the two numbers? If you multiply, you can get positive 72. If you add, you can get negative 17. So that is negative 9 and negative 8. So I'm going to change negative 17 by negative 9 and negative 8. Again, it doesn't matter if you put negative 8 or negative 9 on the first one and the last. But what is important is, we are going to place this number wherein you can factor the first term and any of the two number. So let's have 6x squared minus, I'm going to put first 9, so that is 9x minus 8x plus 12. So again, I'm, I'm cha I change negative 17 by 9x, negative 9x, and negative 8x. So we have now the greatest common factor of 6x squared and 9x is 3x. 6x squared divided by 3x is 2x. Negative 9x divided by, neg divide by 3x is 3 minus Greatest common factor of 8 and 12 is 4. Negative 4. Negative 8x divided by 4, or negative 4, is 2x. 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3. Again, if this is your factor, you are on the right way, or you are on the right track. Now, that's factor. Let us combine this one. So, we have 2x minus 3 times 3x minus 4. Therefore, 
the factor of 6x squared minus 17x plus 12 is 2x minus 3 and 3x minus 4. So let us write on the denominator. 2x minus 3 and 3x minus 4. Now, can we cancel 2x minus 3 and 2x minus 3? Yes. Therefore, we have 5 times x plus 1 over 3x minus 4. So to find the vertical asymptote, we just simply divide or equate the denominator by 0. So that is 3x minus 4 equals 0. So I'm going to move negative 4 to the side of 0. 3x equals 4. Divide both sides by 3. So the vertical asymptote is 4 over 3. Our vertical asymptote is 4 over 3. That's it. That is the rule in finding vertical asymptote.